Hello there and welcome. Well done for choosing to move. So it's time for a quick break to loosen up the muscles and joints. Let's get to it. Okay, this time to loosen up, what we're gonna do is stand up in a nice, tall, upright position. From here, you're going to step over one foot with the other leg, and you can come to the, the outside of the foot on the ground like this. I'm looking for a stretch going up into my hip here, and I'm gonna continue that stretch by reaching up nice and high with my arm. Think of fingertips reaching up towards the sky, as high as you can, stretching the whole side of the body here. Breath in and exhale, and let's do the other side. So my left foot is going around in front of my right foot. Reach nice and high, exhale, and let's keep transitioning between the two. Do try and reach as high as you can to get the most out of the stretch. Make sure you control the breath as well. Exhale, reach. Exhale, reach. One more. Okay, so next up, we're gonna find a split squat position. So you're gonna take a step back and we're gonna drop down, okay? Uh, just go as far as your pants will allow. You don't wanna tear anything, okay? So we're gonna try and tuck the pelvis in and we're going to rotate to the side of the knee that is up. So I'm kind of stretching my hips, working the legs and mobilizing the upper body rib cage a little bit. Remember, use your vision, your body will follow. So look to the wall where you want to turn. Okay, other side. So stepping back into a split squat position, just find your balance, try and tuck the pelvis in, and let's rotate to the side of the knee that is up. Turning, returning to the center, turning, returning to the center. I'll do one more. Okay, so this next one, we're going to unstack the spine uh, segmentally. Um, important to make sure we maintain a little bit of intra-abdominal pressure. So let's do a strong exhale. <sighs> Get a sensation of the abdominals bracing. Let's kind of hold on to that feeling. From there, we're going to start to lower the chin and continue the spine, <sighs> paying attention to the abdominals, rolling down through the spine, as low as your body will allow. If you want, you can hold opposite elbows and let them hang. Now, keeping the abdominal pressure, let's start to stack vertebrate by vertebrate. Squeeze your bum and let's repeat. So starting with the chin and working your way down, segment by segment. Abdominals on. Squeezing the bum, coming all the way up. If you have any back problems, just be careful with this one. Maybe sit it out. Try and keep the knees somewhat locked. Using the glutes the way back up. Controlling the breath, rolling down through the spine. Some of you will only get so far, some of you will be able to put your hands on the floor. That's no problem. Just go within the range that is comfortable for you and try and go slow. Control the breath, keep the body calm, keep the nervous system calm.
keep the abdominal pressure. I'm gonna do one more of these. If you find these challenging, you can stop short. You don't have to do all the repetitions. And if you enjoy that one and you want to get more of a stretch, stand on a step, hold on to a light dumbbell or weight and go down even further than your feet and you'll get a lot of uh, relief in the, lower, in the lower back or a bit of a stretch at least. Okay, next is some arm swings. So we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. We're going to swing the arms like pendulums, letting them go nice and heavy. And you can use a bit of a Bounce in the hips, a little bit of movement in the lower body, like you're marching without your legs moving. And letting the arms go nice and heavy. Look straight ahead. Stay relaxed. Arms like pendulums. Move the hips a little bit as the arms swing. You'll feel the feet and the weight in the feet transferring from side to side slightly. Okay, good stuff. I hope you're feeling a bit more loose. Well done for choosing to move.